Germany did a, a classic study of children under the age of five living less than 5k kilometres from 16 reactors. Their incidence of leukaemia was more than double normal. That study was then duplicated by the French. So they don't need to do another study. The first one looked at leukemia rates among German children living within five kilometers of any operating nuclear reactor. Where 17 incidents of leukemia would have been expected, researchers instead found 37. The second study looked at leukemia rates among French children living within five kilometers of operating reactors. Where seven cases of leukemia would have been expected, researchers instead found 14. In both studies, childhood leukemia rates very close to reactors are doubled. Also, in both studies, researchers strongly cautioned against assuming the increase in leukemia was from any sort of radioactive plant emission. How is it the researchers involved in both studies saw a doubling of leukemia rates near the reactors and then argue against any sort of radioactive plant emission as a cause? Wouldn't anyone like to know? And those two studies are classic studies. They don't need to do any more studies. QED, it's proven. Both the French and the German studies measured leukemia rates against distance from nuclear power plants. The French study followed the German one and so attempted to address some confounding factors that the German study lacked data for. The French study used two geographic models. One was simply distance to the reactor, as the German study had done. The second model incorporated wind direction to more closely model where any emissions from the reactor would be distributed. The excess cases of leukemia disappeared when using this more accurate weather model, meaning the vast majority of leukemia cases were not downwind from the reactors as one might expect. This curious finding was then explored further in a third study which saw elevated leukemia rates where nuclear power plants were planned but had not yet been constructed. There was not yet any radioactive material on those sites. So I don't need to do any more studies. It's proven. Nuclear power plants may be located close to cities and large population centers, but they're not dropped in the middle of housing units. Most frequently, in Europe and the UK, they're put in the industrial zones of small towns, on land previously used for other purposes. The German study's increase in leukemia rates were all clustered where a chemical factory had once operated and later the nuclear power plant had been built. So I don't need to do any more studies. The vast majority of scientific research finds no increase in cancer or leukemia is caused by nuclear power. Note again that researchers of both the German and French studies caution specifically against presuming that any emission from the nuclear power plants was the cause. So what does Caldecott do? She tells her audience that the reports are evidence of exactly that. We've lived and survived for three million years without electricity. We can laugh about her prescription of a candlelit future. We've got to stop. Do not, never, never use it. You don't need all this electrical gadgetry. Turn them all off. Television, DVD, oh, 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 oh. electric carving knives, all the flashing lights. But it comes at the end of a terrifying diatribe. These look like thalidomide babies. Do you remember when pregnant women took thalidomide? Between mischaracterizing good science and regurgitating bad science and just flat out making stuff up, this is the nuclear fallout released by the Australian Radiation Service. It's an absolutely wicked, wicked, wicked industry which kills people. These people should be tried like the Nazi war criminals were at Nuremberg. And I'm fed up with them. It's not until you are scared out of your wits that she suggests we should switch from a clean source of lighting to one of the very dirtiest. If a woman who repeatedly tells audiences easily refutable falsehoods there must be a law that people can't lie. People should be sued. Doctors can't lie. We would be deregistered. I would be deregistered. If I lied about medicine, I would be deregistered. And they haven't sued me. So I'm right. <laughs>